What is going on guys? Rogue TCG here bringing the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG deck profile you all voted for and here I am providing here is Live Twin. Now Live Twin is a really cool archetype from about Genesis Impact a couple years ago now. Uh, that's when Drytron was released as well as well as I believe the last archetype in there was uh, the uh, Rock Rituals, the Megaliths. Uh, but this archetype is super sick. Uh, it's the Cyrus uh, level 2 monsters. We're not really focusing on the level 2 aspect too much during this profile. But uh, they link into these fiend links. So in the daytime, there are these VTubers, kind of like how I got my little Astolfo down there. And in the nighttime, uh, they're evil and malicious individuals who uh, rob banks, which is very based. Like, honestly, so true, bestie. Um, but... A neat little synergy with these cards is that Evil Twin Kiss Kill, um, the pink one in the Evil Nighttime mode, is a Light Fiend. And you know what we say about Light Fiends. Uh, now, now that uh, Fiendsmith is out, and Fiendsmith even has new support in Abyss Rising, uh, light, being a Light Fiend is a very good thing in the year of our Lord 2024. So we decided to combine the Fiendsmiths with this archetype in order to increase the ceiling a little bit. Another beneficial thing about the Live Twins is there's a lot of space in the deck, uh, specifically the main deck, for non-engine. As you can see, we're playing quite a bit of non-engine. So I don't want to just spend this entire opening rambling. Let's get into the profile. Starting off, we're on triple Live Twin Kiss to Kill. Each time an opponent's monster declares an attack, uh, you gain 500 life points. If this card is normal or special, you control no other monsters. You can just special summon a Lilla monster straight from your hand or deck, and that is a once per turn. Uh, Lilla has a similar effect, except they have to pay life points in order to attack, and it will special summon a kiss -a kill out of deck. These are our two primary starters in the archetype. We want to have one of these uh, resolve, like, if possible, because this allows us to really start getting off to the races. Uh, so these are our two main starters of the archetype. However, they do have their spooky versions, because of course you gotta have the spooky versions of VTubers. We are on one Live Twin Lilla Treat. If you control a Kiss a Kill monster, you can special summon this card from your hand, and you can only special summon once per turn that way. When either player takes damage from a battle involving an evil twin monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target a face the monster opponent controls, and it loses attack even with the battle damage. Very underwhelming graveyard effect, although we are just playing it because it's another Lilla that we can special on a deck that actually does have a graveyard effect, as well as it's an extender from hand. And then we're on one Live Twin Kiss a Kill Frost, uh, it's like the winter version, I don't know. You can see in the bottom corner over here, there are snowman, which is very funny, as well as the swag glasses. I, I really like the art on this uh, on these cards. I think it's really fantastic. Uh, this card reads, uh, if you control a Lilla monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Of course, you only summon it once per turn that way, just like the other one. If uh, if a card is added from the main deck to your opponent's hand by a card effect, except during the damage step, while you control an evil twin monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard to just draw a card. So this one's a lot better since drawing cards is better than making a monster lose attack points, you know, obviously. So Frost is better, but we're still only playing one and one just because they're very tutorable out of deck because we can get Frost out of deck with Lilla, and we can get a Treat out of deck with kiss -a kill plus this deck has plenty of searchers. Run one Evil Twins, kiss -a kill and Lilla. This is the main deck version of the Evil Ones. Uh, you cannot be normal summoned or set must be special summoned from your hand or graveyard by tributing two link monsters just any two link monsters pretty cool if this card is special summoned, you can activate this effect your opponent controls three or more monsters they must send cards to the graveyard so they control two cards it's like a weird evenly match sort of and you can use this effective evil twin kiss a kill and lilla once per turn while you have kiss a kill in your graveyard and if you have lilla in your graveyard this card gains 2200 attack and defense putting it to 44 44. Pretty neat card. Uh, we're playing this primarily because this is a card we can send from our uh, main deck to the graveyard with Trouble Sunny, so we don't have to send a card from field to graveyard for the graveyard effect. But it, it is also just kind of like our version of like a weird BLS kind of. Uh, we do need a tribute face up monster, so I guess the closer uh, example would be Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, but it does something different. Maybe Levianir? I don't know, to be honest. But this card is neat. I can see not playing it and just dealing with sending a card from field to graveyard just to not play like the garnet but it's not really a hard garnet since we are link something like crazy in this deck and the feedsmith stuff makes it pretty easy to get link ones on board where we can just tribute those especially with the new stuff uh, the new creamer the new creamer allows us to pretty easily get it out so it's not too harsh of a restriction if we do actually end up drawing it 
run triple copies of Live Twin Sunny Snitch. When this card is activated, add a Live Twin Monster from your deck to your hand. While you control an evil twin monster, each time your opponent normal or special summons a monster, I gain, oh, sorry, you gain 200 life points, and if, if you do, inflict 200 damage to your opponent. So each summon, they're losing a uh, 400 difference between each player. This card wins us games in time. Like, this card is really good in time, so that means this deck actually has a pretty good, uh, you know, matchup into that. Uh, we are playing three of that, of course. It is a continuous uh, spell, so it does kind of lose to Ogre, although Ogre isn't exactly the best right now, if I remember correctly. We're on two copies of Secret Passcode. This one's just a Rota for live twins, and if we have uh, uh, a Lilla or a Kiss Kill, we can add the evil twin, um, Kiss Kill and Lilla from deck to hand. Um, Typically, we're just going to be adding either uh, our starter or an extender being Frost or Treat, although it is nice having the option to add the evil twin. We're on triple copies of Cyanet Mining, pitching a card from our hand to the graveyard to add a level 4 or lower Cyburst monster from our deck to our hand. These are level 4 or lower Cyburses, so that's the purpose of that. We're on double copies of Triple Technics Talents, as well as one Call by the Grave for Hand Trap Mitigation, and then since we have a lot of non-engine space, we're playing a lot of Hand Traps ourselves. We're on Triple Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring, Triple Infinite Impermanence, Double Effect Veiler, Double Droll and Lockbird, and Double Nibir the Primal Being. The weird reason we're on two of these ones is because we can have the option to either main deck or side deck cross out designator because we have a lot of space for non-engine. Although if we do if we do do that, we do need to cut some uh, other consistency cards, like either sign at mitings, or we can even cut the unchained stuff, or we can choose to side it in if we know we need the cross outs, and we can side out the unchained stuff because the unchained stuff is a little less good, especially if we're going second. And then we are on the Fiendsmith engine. We're on triple engravy, one copy of the new Lacrimer. This card is always treated as a Fiendsmith card, so we can summon it off of our Requiem. If this card is no more special, we get to send in a Fiendsmith card from our deck to the graveyard, except for itself. During our opponent's turn, if this card is in our graveyard, quick effect, we can target a Fiendsmith link in our graveyard, shuffle this card into the deck, and if we do, special summon that monster. Now, that might seem a little bit underwhelming. It only summons the Fiendsmith links, and the Fiendsmith links are a little bit middling, to be completely frank. But there are two pretty good ones. Requiem is a quick effect on your opponent's main phase as well. Most people just don't really consider that. So we can just shuffle it back into deck, go Requiem, and then Requiem to just summon it right out, and then dump another um, another engraver just to keep our resources going, and put another blocker on board. Or we can summon the new one, Fiendsmith Agnumende. Hopefully I'm saying that right. It needs two plus monsters, including a Light Fiend, and then once we get to our extra deck, we're going to be able to get to that. But that has a quick effect on our opponent's turn. We're on one copy of Fiendsmith Track, paired with our Fabled Lurie, and then for our Unchains, we're on one Sharvara and one Abominable Chamber of the Unchained, just for extra Link material. Another reason the Fiendsmith cards work very well with the Live and Evil Twins is because our Lit Evil Twin Link monsters lock us into Fiend monsters for the extra deck for the rest of the turn. Now, that might seem a little bit bad, but now that Beansmith is out, we're completely chill with that. Like, I think quite literally almost everything on our extra deck is a Fiend monster, except for exactly one card being SP Penis Little Knight. But that's about it for our main deck, a nice solid 40 cards. Now let's get to our extra deck. We're on two copies of Evil Twin Lilla. It needs two monsters, including a Lilla monster. If this card is special summon, you control a Kiss a Kill, you can target one card in the field and pop it. During the main phase, if you do not control a Kiss a Kill monster, quick effect, you can special summon one Kiss a Kill monster from your graveyard. You can't special the rest of the turn from the extra deck except for Fiends. Then we're on the Evil Twin Kiss a Kill. If this card is special summon, you control a Leela, you can draw one card. During the main phase, if you do not control a Leela, quick effect, you can special summon one Leela from your graveyard, and you cannot special summon for the extra deck for the rest of the turn except for Fiends. Now, typically, we want to go Kiss a Kill first, then link the Kiss a Kill, and then an extra body into a Leela, and then, you know, the Kiss a Kill will actually give you an extra body, because if you summon Kiss a Kill, you get the Leela, and then you can make the Eel Kiss a Kill, and then you have a Leela on Graveyard, so on and so forth. And then you can draw a card during your own turn, and then you're going to draw another during your opponent's turn, making all the non-engine that we're playing so much better. We are on one Evil Twin at Trouble Sunny, two, pl uh, two plus monsters, including an Evil Twin monster, so we can just throw these two into it, or we can throw one of these into it, plus something like a Fiendsmith sequence. And this card reads, quick effect, you can tribute this card, special summon up to one Kiss a Kill monster and one Lilla monster from our graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard and send one Evil Twin monster from your hand or deck to the face of the field to the graveyard. Send one card on the field to the graveyard. 
So that effect, the reason that we are playing the evil twin Kissikun and Leela is because ignition effect on our turn, we can send a card non-targeting from the field to the graveyard, while this card is in the graveyard by sending the evil twin from deck to graveyard. That's a lot of sometimes saying the word graveyard, so it might be a little bit obvious, but this deck does kind of lose to Dimension Shifter, unfortunately. But another neat thing is this is also a Light Fiend. So if we're going along the lines of breaking our opponent's board, we get to pop a card with Evil Twin Leela, we get to send a card with Trouble Sunny, and along the way we can just link one this Trouble Sunny off into a Requiem to send another card with our Fiendsmith Engraver, really adding to this deck's board breaking potential. We're on one copy of S. Penis Little Knight, one copy of Nightmare Unicorn because it's a Fiend so we can just play the discount S. P. Little Knight. We're on Unchained's Yama and Rage, just because we're a Fiend archetype and Yama is just so incredibly crazy, and then Rage allows us to SP on our opponent's turn for 2 plus interactions, which is really juicy. We are on one copy of Fiendsmith Requiem, we are able to use any of our Fiendsmith cards or our Evil Twin Kiss-A-Kill, which we are always planning on going into during our turn in order to access that, or even our Trouble Sunny like I mentioned previously. One copy of Fiendsmith Sequence in order to fuse, and then one card of the new card, uh, Agnumide, the one I mentioned before, the one I can barely pronounce. Once we return quick effect, we can target one light non-link fiend in our graveyard. Special summon it, and if we do equip this card to that monster as an equip spell with the following effects. The equip monster gains attack equal to the total link rating of link monsters equipped to it times 600. And if the equip monster attacks a defense possession monster, inflict piercing battle damage. Now, this card might seem a little bit underwhelming. It is kind of, because it is a little bit, but it does fix one of the problems with the Fiendsmith archetype. It kind of has an issue with getting over big funguses. The largest it can realistically get in archetype is going to be a Desiree equipped with a Requiem. So that's just going to be about 3,400. But if we have a, a Desiree equipped with this card, we are able to buff it all the way up by an extra 1,800 right off the bat, putting it to 4,600, which is huge. If we get to put a Requiem onto that as well, it's also another 600 buff from the Agmon Day, and then a 600 from the Requiem, buffing it even further beyond, putting it to 58, which is crazy. Just for two equips on one Desiree is incredible. Plus, it has piercing, so we can really push for lethal then. We're on one Necro Equip Princess, one Fiendsmith Desiree, and the reason we're on the Necro Equip is because we can access our DDD Wave Hiking Caesar, or we can even just straight up leave it on field and just keep drawing cards as our opponent plays their turn out. But that is going to be about it for the list. Thank you all so much for watching, if you still are. If you want to suggest some decks for future weeks, please check out the Discord. The link is going to be in the description of every one of my videos. There's going to be a channel in there for deck suggestions specifically. I do always take a look at that. As well as thank you to my one member. Thank you, Aerie. If you want to become a member and get those benefits, please uh, feel free to wait just a moment. And then at the very end of the videos, I always will have details around that. But I'm going to finish yapping. Thank you all so much for watching, if you still are, and I'll be seeing you all later. Bye-bye! Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you wanted to talk to more Yu-Gi-Oh! players like yourself, I would highly recommend checking out our Discord server. Link is going to be in the description, as well as the QR code on screen. We do talk somewhat frequently about Yu-Gi-Oh! and the current meta, so I would really enjoy to see you there as well as we do recently now have channel memberships available on our YouTube channel, where we have three different tiers. We have Super Supporter at $2 a month, where you get loyalty badges, emojis, guaranteed comment responses, a shout out at the end of every video, as well as access to the members only Discord channel, where you get early sneak peeks at future videos. There is the Giga Supporter at $5 a month, where you have early access to all new videos about a day or two before they go up, as well as all the previous offers. And for $15 a month, we do have our final tier, which is going to be Femboy Fanatic. You get a guaranteed customized video every single month, as well as one hour of my time. Could be for anything you'd like. You want a duel? Absolutely. You want me to help build a deck? Absolutely. You want to play some Helldivers? Sure. I'll do anything for an hour once a month. But supporting does help me out quite a lot, and it does help me produce all of these videos. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you all later. Bye-bye.